Hello, my friends. Am I live? Am I live? Is it close? Yeah. Yeah, I'm done. Near my skin. Hello, my friends. I'm not quite sure. Am I live or am I not live? However, I'm sure somebody will watch the replay. So, my name is Angela and I am the owner. Hallo, Vera. Okay, I am live. <laughs> my name is Angela and I'm the owner and creative energy from Elf and Helden. I'm an elite retailer for Dixiebel, um over here in Frankfurt in Germany. I also am the German distribution for Dixiebel. And oh, now the notice is going out. It's, today is everything with delayed reactions somehow. So um, many join me just let me know where you're watching from. Say hi to me. It is 9 p.m. over here. So I uh, don't know where you're watching from. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm happy you're there. If you haven't done it yet, guys, please pop over to my page. Leave me a like there um, and hit the bell so that you get noticed when I do my lives. I do. I'm... I'm not sunburned. Nina was asking if I was sunburned. I've been sanding the top of this piece earlier on and have already done now a live before in uh, German. So I'm running around like a lunatic. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> okay, that's great. Hi, Michelle. Thank you guys for joining me. Oh, here, there you are. There's Nina. Hi, guys. Okay. So, um, as I said, this piece we've done some transfers on there we've, we've done some grungy blending and stuff like that and the top i've decided it's going to stay in hymen is uh, going to stay in yeah in a wooden color i've i've made the effort to send it down i haven't got the proper tools for it so this was a bit of a pain doing it and um yeah but i've got it off so that's the main thing we are using the No Pain Gel Stain by Dixieville and I've chosen the Walnut. It is a lighter color. I don't want to have it. I want to have a little bit of a contrast, you know, because this is going to go also with the transfer. There's like some, some lighter bits uh, in there. So that's basically the idea behind it. I'm going to have some coffee before I set that to the side. So um no pain gel stain is one of the rare products by dixabel which are oil based and uh, you can use it on raw wood you can use it on factory finish that all works beautiful yeah so we have the no pain gel stain and we have the voodoo gel stain the voodoo gel stain on the opposite is um it's uh water based which you can only use on raw wood or on chalk mineral paints. They are open pores. You can use the voodoo gel stain on top of that also. But the no paint gel stain, you can also use on factory finish or something like that. If, um, if the top is not very nice um, with the wood and stuff like that, you can, you know, just like uh, put like solid coats on there, two or three, and you're good to go. Um, so, but tonight we are working on, on this raw wood. I would recommend, and that's what I'm doing, um, open the windows um, if you haven't got the chance to work outside with it, because this is this, you know, this this is not VOC free. This got some smell to it. So if you're sensitive, open the windows or work outside with it. Um, but it is beautiful. So and also, you know, wear some gloves because this is going to stain your your fingers. So I'm going to put some gloves on. So, if you have questions, guys, leave them in the comments. Hi, Greta. Thank you for joining me again. So, wear some gloves. And uh, this is one of those lids you have to open like this. It's like a, a proper can. Let's do that all the way around. Get that open. And Instagram. Oops, Master of disaster. So there we go. It looks pretty dark at the moment, but it is lighter. The espresso is like real dark. The um, walnut is a little, a little lighter. So I'm already making a mess. Now my paper towels. There. 
uh, paper towels. So I'm going to deposit all the things I'm using in a separate bag, which I can close up so that there's no smell going to stay around this place. Oh, another Michelle. Oh, bonsoir, Michelle. You've got a Michelle from England and a Michelle from France. Thank you for joining me. Merci beaucoup. So, um, also, I'm going to mix this up. I've had everything prepared, guys. This is... Um, where did I put it now? Oh, there. <laughs> I put it where it belongs to. So, uh, okay. Um, get everything out of the way. So, not contaminating my phone. Baby wipes on the floor. I'm going to apply it with my red pad. Red pads. Rewind. I'm going to apply it with the applicator pad by Dixiebel. Red pads are sanding pads. So <laughs> the applicator pads by um, Dixiebel is like a, a spongy, a spongy type of thing. And it's got like a pretty um, uh, smooth um, microfiber um, structure which is lovely for applying it. So that's what I'm using. You can't wash it out. You know, this is oil based. You can't wash it out. This is uh, going to be a complete mess otherwise. <clears throat> what you can do, you can store it in that bag and uh, reuse it. You know, as long as it has dried in there, you can reuse it basically at the end. So even so, um, I'm going to mix that up depending how long this was um, standing this this it's got like a jelly like a jelly consistency so pussy galore she's already lifting her nose thinking what are you doing that smells different so and it's it's nice to work with because it's not ripping or anything so that's fine so nicely mixed this is to make sure that nothing is like settled on bottom or on top and um, making sure that all the benefits of the product can, can go to their work so i'm gonna get up so i'm wiping it off on here now because that's what i'm using to apply you can apply it solid, you can apply it, basically pull it back, you know, that this is totally up to you, it depends on the surface you're obviously having, so, that there, and I'm starting, I'm going to bring you maybe a little closer, oops, sorry, I'm starting, I'm starting there. I'm starting there. In plastic bags, yeah, that's right. So, but uh, this, this one is eventually going to dry. So I'm just like spreading it out with my applicator pad on here get that smooth on here dip it in here and i'm really rubbing that into the wood now this has a a longer open time and the outside i'm going to Cover a little more solid. Go over it like this. This is basically not properly sanded. But I'm going to have a couple of coats of that on just on the outside trim here. I'm not worried if this has like a little bit of a different color. This is going, going to go nicely with the rest of that piece at the end. So, I'm 
and walnut is um, yeah, it's a pretty, very pretty color. Espresso is really dark. It's a lot darker than this. So I'm going to move you around with me. And you can apply it easy. Ever so easy. And if you have like a factory finished top, in this wood, as I've sanded it down, it's um, sinking in, it's soaking in basically. Bit. And you can apply it nice and smooth, you know. This has got like a longer open time than the um, I'm just doing now long strokes, making sure I've got no product basically left somewhere. So and then I'm going to go around the edges again. And they are going to need about two or three coats to get that um, to take on the whole color of this um, of the uh, walnut. Pushing it into it with the applicator pad. Oh, you can't see, this is difficult. I'm going to lift you a little back so you can see a little better. So that's better like this. You can use, you can also use a brush, you know, doing that. You don't need to use the applicator pad. You can use a brush. Um, I wouldn't use one of my synthetic brushes as you're pretty much going to ruin it. Yes, this is oil based and um, they're not very easy to clean afterwards. I'm just going to give it a nice, nice. Walnutty color at the end. And the um, no paint gel stain colors, they are a little richer than the voodoo gel stain colors. They cover better and they are richer than the voodoo gel stain. Voodoo gel then comes in more fun colors. Just gonna go around those gaps. I've got that covered. So that's the first coat. So I'll let that dry. So if you do that, I'm just going to wipe that on here. Sure, I've got everything covered. If you um, use um, the uh, no paint gel stain on um, if you use it on factory finish, the first coat you're going to apply is going to look very streaky. So don't worry about that. The second coat will be fine. So that's just normal. Oh, thank you, Sarah. Yes, that fireplace. That was a fun make also. So, just put that there. Just gonna bring you a little bit closer so you can see. So that's a beautiful, beautiful color. That's absolutely gorgeous, I think.
<laughs> green and cow spots green and cow spots Hmm. So. Um, Becky, das ist Walnut. Das ist Walnut von uh, das No Pain Gel Set in Walnut, was ich hier nehme. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, Nina, you're so sweet. Oh, Michelle, you also. Oh, guys, you make me blush. You make me blush. <laughs> That's so kind of you. So, okay. Um, I'm going to let that dry. This is, um, as I said, this, uh, the voodoo gel scent is a little bit, is a little bit smelly. So, um. Yes, it's warm and yummy. That's right. Espresso is really dark. Espresso is like uh, really, really dark. And this is like a little, a little warmer. This is basically what we are going for, for this piece. And uh, there's not, not a huge life tonight in English. Maybe you can have a chat, a little more of a chat. Oh, let's see, it has a little bit of the... It's in here. So it's going to take on the outside on the trim. I'm going to have like a couple of coats to match the, the top. But with the tools I had, I couldn't send that properly down. But that's fine. That's fine for me. So um, you can do how many coats you want. You can leave it with one coat, you can do two coats, you can do three coats, depends how rich you want to have the coverage basically. And I would also recommend uh, sealing it. The no pen gel stain sealing, um, you do actually with a water-based product. You know, even it's not, you say you can't mix um, water with or water-based products with um, oil-based products. The no pen gel stain is actually recommended to seal with a water-based uh, top coat uh, from Dixie Belle. Um, you should let it dry at least four to five days, depending on temperature and um, humidity where you're at, but rather a day longer than too short. Um, yeah, that's basically and then you can add your top coat. Uh, if you want to use gator hide, I always put uh, a top coat satin or anything underneath. And then I come in with my gator hide on top. Um, don't put um, don't put hemp seed oil or anything on it. You know, don't don't work with oils or the butter on it. It'll soften up the no pen gel stain. They even if you would think you know oil and oil would work it doesn't work the oil based you know like the um hemp seed oil or the um butter which are oil based um sealing products by dixie bell they will soften up the no pen gel stain so seal it with one of the water-based um products jill gator hide scares you why is that why does it scare you? Do you get streaks? Are you scared of streaks? Practice. It is, um, Gator Hide is pretty easy to use. It's maybe I do, maybe I do a whole, a whole, um, life just with Gator Hide, like different, different ways of using it. So, um, but, um, Gator Hide is pretty, pretty easy to use. You should put, um, the problem is Gator Hide dries really quick. It's tricking, yeah. That's the reason. Um, Gator Hide dries really, really quick. So, by, you know, when you're applying it, while you're dragging your sponge or your brush, whatever you're using, it's already drying at the beginning. So when you go over it again, you put in streaks. So don't do that. Firstly, 
what I like to do, I like to seal my piece first with, with one of the other top coats, um, either the satin, flat or gloss, doesn't matter what you use. So that the, when you, when you have the chalk mineral paints underneath, not with the, um, the no paint gel set is a little, a little easier. Yeah. But um, the chalk mineral paints, they are open pores. So they basically grab everything which touches them. So the gator hide soaks into it and dries at the same moment, basically. So that's the reason. Oh, hi, Brigida. Thank you for joining. So, um, <laughs> no, clear codes. Okay. Um, are you, Michelle, you, oh, no. <laughs> you know, you've got to use gator hide. Gator hide is my favorite product, basically. So um, it is it is the hardest sealer from Dixie Bone. I use it on every almost every top I'm I'm I have to seal. Um yeah so that's the reason it, it just like it grabs onto the paint and then you drag you know just seal it so the surface is a little smoother your your sponge glides a little easier over the project and um yeah and when you when you move your sponge you move your sponge don't go back and go over it again yeah just Firstly, only one direction, finish off one row, next row next to it, overlap it a little bit, you can overlap it a little bit and just finish it off like that. If you have like spots in between which you don't get on the first go, don't worry about it, you get it at a second go. If you go over it again, this is those areas have already dried and you get streaks. You know when you go over it again so um but that's at the end it's basically pretty easy to use mm. hmm back no force yeah <laughs> guapa <laughs> spanish com spanish speaking community Grete, you love gator hide oh you write up plus read that's great so um my friends that was quickly done you can see how quickly that was done i will see if that's um as this is soaked into the wood i might as well do the second coat in a second we just chat a little bit more and then we then we can see um ah becky is on instagram <laughs> becky is on instagram Yes, it is. You will notice the streaks obviously more over dark, uh, dark color still. That's correct. Yeah, that's correct. You can polish it out also. Um, if you have streaks, you make like two or three coats of the, the gator hide and then you can use some, um, either one of those um, sanding fleeces or you use the this um steel wool not the one <laughs> oh facebook läuft so schlecht okay has anybody got problems on facebook is the the just let me know becky is just saying facebook has got no good uh, no good picture at the moment just let me know so is anybody else having problems i sometimes don't know if this is um should be okay should be okay um what do you mean? Yes, it's uh, not working well on Facebook. Hmm. Okay. So I'm wondering if this is uh, from my area or from somewhere else. Everything's okay with you, Greta. All right. No problems, Vera. Okay. All good with Michelle also. So I don't know. Okay. But if it works better on uh, good there also. Okay, that might be, but Becky, if it works better for you on, uh, hmm, also Becky, die anderen haben keine Probleme, keine Ahnung, aber Insta läuft bei dir. Okay, komisch. Wer hat auch kein Problem? Okay, that's good. At least I know that now. Um, where was I? What did I just say? Good for Michelle. Good. Oh, ah, yeah. This is sometimes, you know, I mean, Germany, honestly, you know, we are a third world country when it comes down to digital, to digital receptions and stuff like that. This is absolutely pathetic over here. So, but even so. 
Mm. So let's see if we can do the second coat already. I use the same sponge. So that'll be basically finished then and um, go from there. It's got like a nice jelly jelly consistency. You know, just basically I just like, yeah, let's see if you can see that. I just dip my sponge in there. I grab like a, a good amount and I'm not placing it right onto the front. I'm always placing it like a little bit further into the project and go from there. And then I move it up to the side. So, right to the end. You can also, if you want to have like a complete coverage, you don't need to wipe it back. This is completely up to you. It's going to dry. It's going to dry. You don't have to wipe it back. That's the nice thing about it. The color is just different. It's um, it's warmer than the it's warmer than the espresso. Espresso is like really dark. This is one of the easiest to use products, I think. Apart from the, the smell, as I said, if you're sensitive, then use it outside. But uh, I've got the window open at the moment, so that's fine for here and you can cover up also if there's there's like on the end of this piece some area which wasn't very nice there was like some I don't know if they if there was like a candle burning and they wanted to put it out with water there was some sort of um, damage to to the top which I couldn't get uh, get out this um, sanding. I probably would have um, gone right through down to the not so nice wood. That's the reason I've left it. So actually, I think I'm going to do the outside here with a brush. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab a chip brush. Hang on, guys. As I said, I'm not using nice brushes for this. But I want to have the, the sides covered. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to let that dry like this then, basically. This is just a chip brush now. It's gonna give it like a different, yeah. Have it. As I said, you don't need to pull it back. You can leave it on like this. I'm gonna go over the top in a second. You have a little longer open time. There's that one. Just gonna go like this. And the edge. So this is now the first coat, which is not looking very nice. But with the second coat, when that has dried, I'm not going to take that back on the sides. I'm going to sit that on there so this can dry like that. And on the second coat, you won't notice those uh, streaks anymore. So, 
So now I'm just going to go over the top. Long strokes. Just taking the excess away there and then spreading it out evenly. I like to do that in one direction. I'm not going back and forth. That's um, what I said before. That gives it like a nice, nice color. So this area is soaking into the wood, which is uh, makes it nice. So my friends. What do you think? That looks pretty nice. Yep, the front is going to be painted again, but this is going to dry. It's going to take a little longer. So I'm putting this into, into this bag. Take the other one out. So I'm putting it into the bag. I'm going to keep that if I want to do. It's eventually going to dry and then you, you'll have to throw it. But if you use it quite a lot, if you keep it in there. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, see, so that smells great. Uh, okay, I mean, some people have different tastes. This, I think that, um, well, I mean, it's not, it's not too bad, but... Uh, so I'm sticking my chip brush into it also, closing that up and um, gonna leave that. Just cleaning my jar as I made a mess as per usual. Okay, I'm not touching it. So I've gotta make sure that Pussy Galore is not jumping onto it as she likes to whatever, sit on in whatever, all the projects. So this is going to need a little bit of time to, to dry. I've got a separate bag, which I'm going to dump later. All that stuff. Thank you, Michelle. Oh, thank you, Judy. <laughs> yeah, Dixiebel has got great products, guys. That's the nice thing about it, you know, whatever you do, you have a product for everything. So that's just perfect. That's perfect for me anyway. And you know that the products work with each other, you know, so um, that's the good thing. Where's my lid? Where's my lid? So close that. And then I'm going to dump my, my gloss also. Oh yes, that's honestly, um, I'm not worried very much about the paw prints, you know, this, you know, get them polished out, paint over it. That's no problem. I just don't, don't want them to have that on their paws because uh, if they lick that, that's not very good. So that's not, not very much recommended. My friends, it's already time to say goodbye. I thank you so much that you've been with me tonight. Um, mm, 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 mm. Yeah, wunderbar, mein Schatz. Das freut mich. Ja, ich glaube, das war die richtige Entscheidung, das uh, in Holz Optik zu lassen. Ich denke, um, ja, wie gesagt, ich habe da immer so ein bisschen... Yeah, my friends, thank you so much for joining me. For those who don't know me, my name is Angela. I'm the owner and creative energy from Elfen und Helen. Yeah, well, it went quickly. So this, this was a quick live tonight. So it's not, uh, we can do some painting on the inside or stuff like that and chat a little longer. Um, but uh, this is basically what I wanted to show you. So I'm going to paint it from the inside in, in Palmetto. Um, 
so it looks nicely there but uh, even so guys thank you so much for joining me as i said my name is angela i'm the owner and creative energy from elfram helden i'm an elite retailer for dixiebel over here in frankfurt in germany i also am the german distribution for dixiebel um so um if you want to become a retailer in germany just uh, contact me and uh, if you want to shop the products I've used, pop over to the Dixiebel page, check for your local retailer, um, join the um, Europe group, Dixiebel Europe group. And uh, I see you next week. I'm wishing you a great weekend. Uh, if you watch replay, put hashtag replay. If you have questions, contact me, put it in the comments, tag me. Um, I will try to, to get to you then. Guys, I appreciate you very much. Um, and I see you next week. Have a great weekend. Take care. Bye.